Today we get out those oil pastels and Jamie, my niece, is going to help me show you how to use value going dark to light to make our cylinder cakes look three-dimensional. Part two. No, no, not part two. I mean part three. Three. Hello, my talented artists. If you love this content, be sure to subscribe. All right, artists, make sure you get those same three oil pastels, light, medium, and dark, that you started your cake drawing with. Okay, good. Ooh, that's already looking good. If you saw it from far away, you'd be impressed with yourself. Remember how we practice pressing hard and pressing light? We're gonna press really lightly. With our medium color. Just between the dark and the medium, just a few contour lines, and then we're gonna blend that with our lighter color in with the, our circle movement. So now we have two ways of using our oil pastels. The contour line makes it look three-dimensional, and the little circle line blends it. Here's an option. If you want your light side to be really light, you can take a white. Now this white is really dirty, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my sketchbook to clean it off a little bit. I'm gonna take a little white and I'm gonna do, oops, it's still a little pink. That's okay, I'll blend it in with my nice circle mo movement. I'm gonna blend this lightest part a little bit white and now we're getting quite a few values. Do you wanna use the white or are you gonna? Sure. Okay, so mine is a little yellow. Do you wanna wipe it off? Yeah. There, Jamie's gonna clean it. Mine's a little yellow. Okay, well Jamie adds her white to the lightest Part. You can see the values now. It's like light, and then it's getting a little darker, a little darker. I'm gonna take that medium. Actually, you know what, no. I'm gonna take the darkest. Oil pastel. And I'm going to begin coloring in the darkest part. Don't forget those contour lines. Don't do flat lines. Do the lines of the curve of the cake. And you can go all the way to the medium color, but leave some white right next to the medium color. Don't do too much of the darkest color. And then the furthest away, you know, you can make it pretty dark. Oh, nice curved lines. And if you want to, Jamie, you can draw that as a line right on the pencil line, then it kind of protects it from drawing outside. But if you draw outside your cake, there's a solution for that too, so don't worry. We can solve any problem. Now take the medium oil pastel and go over your dark contour lines with the medium oil pastel, and then we're gonna blend it with the circle motion. I'm gonna add some of the orange. Oops, look, I went outside the line a little. I'll just scrape it with my... I did too. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just scrape it with our finger and we're gonna color the background later, so we won't worry about that. Ooh, that looks nice. Good job. And don't forget to get down there with your medium color. As we are blending, this is the time we want to look carefully for all those white spots and color them in. Are you surprised? Yeah. That you look so good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does look really good. Okay, so now we have to decide what value to do the top. If you look at a cylinder, I'll, sh I'll put up a cylinder. That is a cylinder, oh my, but that's inappropriate. Now, if you look at a cylinder shape, you'll notice because the top is flat, it's all one value. If we look at this Wayne Tebow painting of two cakes, which are, of course are cylinders, we can see that the top does have a little variation in value where there it might be a little shadow cast by the frosting, but essentially it is the same value. That is different because it is a flat surface of the cylinder. The curved part of the cylinder has a lot more variation in value. So we're probably gonna pick 
a, a medium or light value for the top. What do you think you're going to pick? Which value on your... Maybe the medium one? Yeah. Because you can't really see that, like, super much. Yeah. I think the medium one is a good idea. So, because it's flat, we're not going to do a curved line anymore. We're going to do a flat line. So, pick whatever color you want, and then you're going to draw... Well, you might want to outline your whole top oval, especially if you have your decorations. Now we're gonna draw a straight line. You can draw it any direction. I think I'm gonna draw mine horizontally. Just a straight line, but I don't want it to just be yellow. I decided I wanted a little bit of orange, a medium value. Jamie and I are both doing me a, a medium value, so we have to kind of recreate one of these middle colors. I'm not gonna press hard. I'm gonna do a light, orange line. Now, Jamie, I have a question for you. Hmm. How do I get rid of those stripes? You blunt it. Yeah. With a circle motion. That's right. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so I just blend it with a circle motion. I recommend using your lightest value color to blend the top. Are you going to add any of the uh, purple color to your top too? Yeah. Now I'm going to be a detective. I'm going to find all the white spots. Yeah, that's what I'm doing That's too. the hard thing. <laughs> <laughs> While Jamie finishes coloring in the white spots on her top, I'm going to show you how to color in the decorations on your cake, if you have any. Maybe I'll make, it won't be that different. It'll be, still be a warm color, but I'll do red and white, so it'll be like pinky flowers. I want you to always do at least two colors in each shape. So I'm going to color these all white. Ooh, that looks good. You're really getting all those white spots, Jamie. You're strong. Yeah. It takes strength. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to note that I am not coloring in these flower decorations thoroughly. I'm lightly adding a little white so that I can blend the red. Should I outline them in red or leave them white or? Outline them in red. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to outline them in red. I'm going to start outlining them in red and then I'm going to like sort of make another little wiggle in there. That looks solid. It looks pretty good. I'm glad you agree. I like oil pastels because they're kind of smooth and creamy to work with. They blend really nice. Exactly. To go with the, the, the blending theme, I'm going to blend it. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Look. Mm, yeah, that does look really good. Because this project, we're focusing on shadows, and everything has a shadow, there should be a shadow under each of these little flowers. But we're not going to make black shadows, because that's not actually accurate. If we look at one of Wayne Tebow's paintings, let's look at these shadows. What colors do you see in this Wayne Tebow shadow? Pause to discuss. Good job seeing all those colors. So I am not just going to do black for my shadow. I'm going to use one of my darker colors of my icing because it's on icing. So I'm just gonna do a very little shadow under the front. I'm not gonna go all the way around because the shadow rarely goes all the way around. I'm just gonna go in the front and then I can blend that. This is a, bl this is a very blending assignment. We're really learning how to blend with oil pastels. So I'm just gonna blend it out a little with that little circle motion. Blend these nice little shadows. It's sort of a hint of a shadow. Notice that I am using my lightest color to blend out the dark color to create my shadows. Jamie, that's gorgeous. Thank you. That looks so good. As you're using your oil pastels, you will notice that you will have lots of little bits of oil pastel. Be sure to gently brush your little bits into the trash can so that the tables stay as clean as they can be. Now you show 
How to, yep, good. Excellent. Can you do mine too? Mine's super messy. Ugh, get that all out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I think that looks pretty good. Ooh, they look great. I, love I can't wait to see what you create. Mm -hmm.